Let's evaluate this function in two variables. In this case, we're trying to evaluate f of 4, 8. So it's important that we first identify that 4 is going to be a value for x, and 8 is going to be a value for y. So basically, as we take a look at our function over on the right-hand side, wherever we see a, an x in our function, that's going to get replaced with a 4. Wherever we see a y in our function, that's going to get replaced with an 8. It really comes down to that and then some orders of operations. So this is going to work out to be 90 multiplied by 4 plus 50 multiplied by 8 minus 2 times 4 replaces the x again. It's going to get squared. Minus 4 times 8 is going to replace this y, and it's going to get squared, as the function dictates there. Minus 4 replaces this x, and 8 replaces this y. From here, it really is just order of operations to simplify down. We're going to work exponents, then multiplication, then our addition or subtraction. So we have um, 90 times 4 for this first term. We can say is 360 plus 50 times 8 makes 400. Now on this one, I'm going to go ahead and square the 4 to get 16, and think 16 times 2 makes minus 32 for this term. The next one, we're going to go 8 squared is 64. 64 times 4 is 256. I'm not writing out that work, but hopefully you're following along with where I'm getting that from. And then finally, minus 4 times 8 makes 32. Now we could make this one step at a time as we go through this, but really you're going to add and subtract, kind of working your way left to right. We should get 440 as our final solution. All right, so if we were also asked to write this as an ordered triple, we typically think of f of x, y as meaning the same thing as a z value. So an ordered triple looks like x comes first, then y, and then z is a last component. Very similar to ordered pairs, except where we also have a z. So in our case, we had x was a 4, y was 8, and that worked out equaling 440 is a z value. All right, hope this helps out as you're working with evaluating functions in two variables. Just identify what's x, what's y, fill in appropriately, and then take your time working the order of operations. Good luck.